Hey everybody, we're on YouTube. Wes is doing jumping jacks. Oh, sorry everybody. You caught me doing my little pre-stream sweat. Sorry about that. It's, it's, I like that energy to bring to the table though, honestly. Hmm. Zach, did, did the chat miss my cool jumping jack moment? No, no, they're talking about it. They are? Yeah. Okay. Antelister gifted $5 saying, Wes, your jumping jacks had very good form. Don't tempt me, and this will turn into a uh, exercise stream. <laughs> All right, every five dollars, West does ten squats. Uh, look oh, at anime bike guy. Gift of two dollars, saying. I love a good bike. So, West, have you completed your one thousand jumping jacks? <sighs> well, okay, that's two dollars. You know what? What do we want to do? A dollar a jack, or? <laughs> I no, do not phrase it like that. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, everybody, and welcome to another episode of The Great Ace Attorney with an actual lawyer. I'm your host, Zach, joined by our voice actor, Wes. Hi there. And our actual lawyer, Pridge. Oh, sorry, I, I, I wasn't paying attention. Hi, everyone. Is that a bit? <laughs> No, no, uh, it, it's weird. You're not, you're not streaming. You're not streaming to us in the in the Discord. And I was trying to figure out. Uh, <laughs> oh, right, because I closed it. Sorry. No, I, no, I legitimately no, I'm, I'm sorry thought for, you were I'm, doing. I'm sorry for completely messing up my intro. No, I no, legitimately you thought you were Hardcore doing like that. Oh, hi. I didn't see you there. I legitimately <laughs> yeah, thought you were that's doing my that bit. Too. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's incredible. It's incredible. Wow. Uh, folks, if you like this stream, you can catch it usually on twitch.tv slash save data team. However, tonight but we're streaming live okay. on youtube.com slash save data team. Yeah. And, and hey, nice, nice and comfortable. They got snacks here at YouTube. They do. Also, I don't know. Maybe go check out some of other socials. We never talk about them. Twitch, twitter.com slash save data team, Instagram, Twi uh, TikTok. We got a pretty successful TikTok that we almost never post to anymore. But that's going to change soon, I swear. Uh, and hey, if you want to support us, head over to patreon.com slash save data team. Throw us a couple bucks. Uh, just two bucks a month get you access to the full VODs of every single stream we do. Uh, $5 a month lets you vote on one of our variety streams each month. And $10 and, level, $10 and above gets you a name included in this Patreon song. Thank them, thank them, gotta thank them all. Gotta thank them all, our Patreons. Bergamot, Les, Bandicoot, Commando, Hello Dave, Hallucha, and Sofino. HSM, Fern, Wake, Crow, Knight, Danny, and Lester, Kevin, Asian, shout out, Navi. Shout out to Jaco, Bell, Taco, Sensei, R. Keith, Forensic, Beck, Nicole, and Mystic, Woody. Dessert Boy Man, Elijah Sly, Rick Rat, Katja, Traveling in a Box, and Snowcat, Naruka, Yongi, Crisanto, Phil, a written word, Shade the Punisher, Sevilla! Thank them, thank them, gotta thank them all. Gotta thank them all, our Patreons! Thank you so much. Shade the Punisher gifted ten, five more dollars, saying, Can't wait till you get to Dual Destinies. Uh, it makes West canon by mentioning that the judge does, in fact, have a grandson. Oh, I mean, listen, it's canon. I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, what are you talking about? We've known this. We don't need a game to tell you. You got me, right? Keep physical evidence. <laughs> Shade the Punisher gets to two more dollars saying, fine, it's the first time judge acknowledges, it's, it's the first time judge acknowledges Wes. I know, I know, we're just, we're just joking that's about fine. it. That's uh, fine, that's fine. He doesn't like to talk about it. He likes to maintain his stern persona. He doesn't like to- <laughs> He's just deeply, like deeply, know. He's, he's deeply, deeply embarrassed. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't like to talk about it. No, Damn. don't say that. <laughs> Tim! Oh. Hey, hey, Grandpa! <laughs> Not All right. All right, we got 260 plus people watching. Let's play. Heck video. yeah, sounds good to me. Yo, if we, listen, if we break 300, I think that's officially like, <laughs> fuck Twitch, right? Uh, we'll, we'll talk about it. I'm, I'm genuinely, it's, it's amazing that we, we have this many people right now. Thank you all so much. Right? All right. So last time Shones was like, hey, you should go talk to the Garadebs more because 
But yeah, also he, maybe not because I don't know. He's also like, hey, I didn't actually tell them to arrest Mr. Natsume. I just told them where right. the I just told him they just asked where the guy who witnessed this was and I found him. Right, 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 right. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Which again can just uh, improve my opinion of Furlock. Yeah. That he wasn't just that he wasn't just like, arrest that guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's this uh-huh, guy. Uh-huh. <clears throat> Alright, let's go back to the Garadebs. Also it says the Garadebs. Are we to understand that he is either married or is the maid included in his household family standing? Uh, uh, would, well, you, it, would, would a, you refer a, would you include singular. the household staff? Would no. you include the household staff and like if you were saying like the family Oh, like... I'm sorry. I read it as the Garadeb's oh, room. Okay, yeah, no, it's Not, just Mr. Wait, did yeah. it I swore it said the Garadeb's room. I think it did too on the travel thing. You can probably check again when you get. You can probably check again when. Okay. okay. Uh, yeah. yeah, yeah. Maybe we just haven't met the wife yet. So. Yeah. There's there's a lot more characters that. Have been <laughs> ah, you pal again. Yeah, it was like 15 minutes. Are you excited to see us again? <laughs> <laughs> We're back. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me. Was the detective chap, um, I forgot his name, still hard at work down there? <laughs> Mr. Herlock Sholmes? Dog, we caught you with the magazine like you can't fucking lie to us. <laughs> <laughs> ah, yes, yeah, Swig's a vague bell. Ah, that detective, bu- all that detective business isn't really my thing, I'm afraid. Well, Mr. Sholmes is in his element down there. Uh, jolly good, sir. Another cup of tea, if you please, Joe. Oh, I wonder what she's gonna... Now then, why don't you tell me what... <laughs> well, the umpteenth time, woman, will you watch what your belly will doing? I shall be serving dinner shortly, sir. Hmm? Ah, yeah. Yes, of course. <clears throat> Fightfully rude of me, but I'm afraid I should have to ask you to take your leave, if you'd be so kind. Oh, yes, of course. We are deeply grateful for all your assistance. Uh, not at all, not at all. You don't get much chance to talk with young foreigners like yourselves. It's been a pleasure. Best of luck and all that. Perhaps you could uh, see yourselves out. Damn it. Damn, yes. <clears throat> yeah, they, they sure did. According to Mr. Shums, Mr. Garadeb is hiding something. And since no other avenues of investigation seem open to us at the moment, perhaps we should do some digging. I brought my shovel. <laughs> Wait. What? Look at the screen. Like the Twitch stream or the game? No, no, look at the game. Something. Oh something my god! Just <laughs> no, let me get over there. <laughs> oh! <laughs> god damn it! God. God, I love him. He's so great. I also love how they haven't noticed him at all. No, he's just fucking... In. How did he get in here? That's I don't know! Uh, Spider Sholm, they call yeah. him. Uh, what's he doing over there? M- Mr. Sholmes! Aha! We meet again, my dear fellow. You told us to come down here. <laughs> <laughs> Good gracious. Uh, where did you sneak in here? The lock zone, sir. At your service. Not what I asked. Whatever were you doing over by the window? I am given to watching the evening sky as the sun sets, madam. Yet sadly, cheerful as the room downstairs undoubtedly is, it lacks an aperture for such observation. So I took the liberty of borrowing a small corner of space by the window up here. <laughs> well, 
Keeping an eye to one's windows at dusk is the prudent thing to do in London, I'm gathering. <laughs> ah, and one other thing, Mr. Narahedo. Oh, me? I Look at your hands! <laughs> no! <laughs> you see him not again! <laughs> not again! <laughs> How did he do that? <laughs> Why this time? <laughs> Ah, because I figured it out. You are the actual culprit. <laughs> you stabbed her. <laughs> Don't ask me I how I figured it out, because it makes no sense. <laughs> you know, to anyone but me. <laughs> <laughs> it makes perfect sense I thought to perhaps, me, though. I thought perhaps you might be in need of a certain <clears throat> great detective's great mind. Oh, is Iris here? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, he's not talking about... Is he... I didn't expect to be going through that again so soon. Oh, yeah. Are you ready to dance? <laughs> dance. Do you mean, Mr. Showers? There is a mighty secret in this modest room. My eyes see even the most trivial of trifles. And the most trivial of rifles. And the most pivial of pifles. <laughs> I take it you're prepared, Mr. Narahodo? I... I think so. There is just time enough for one of my greatly admired great deductions. Let us conclude the matter before dark. Got a busy schedule ahead of you? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes, I have a great, I have a very busy schedule of breaking into Londoners' homes and looking out their windows. <laughs> <laughs> it keeps me quite busy. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Gary Dev. Uh, let me let me read a couple more donations. Tranvo uh, gifted a currency I have never seen before. It looks like a D with like a cross on the top of it, and it's underlined, and it's a hundred thousands of those. But they do add this is like five dollars. So thank you. <laughs> Looking at that, I was like, oh my god, I can retire. Uh, <laughs> but thank you for bringing me back to Earth on that. No. One. No, seriously. <laughs> That's hilarious. Thank you. Uh, Honestly, <laughs> I, I, I kind of only want donations in foreign currencies that have to be like hundreds Explained. of thousands. <laughs> uh, DL gifted $5 saying, when you think about Shum's... Oh, I, read, I read that already. Uh, and Troy it gifted like it's $2. The, it looks like it's the... The Vietnamese dong. <laughs> don't laugh at that. Nope, don't laugh at that. Nope, too late. Don't laugh at too that. Too late. <laughs> It must be laughed at. I, I, that wasn't a laugh. That was a really weird sneeze. <laughs> oh, that's incredible. That's incredible. Uh, thank you very much for your 100,000 dongs, Tranvo. Uh, I said don't laugh at it, Wes. No, I just had to do a weird sneeze again. Uh-huh. <laughs> he sneezed so weirdly. And Troy, and Troy gifted $2.00. Two it's clarifying that this is in U.S. dollars. Thank you very much. Oh, that's what that—that's what that symbol is. <laughs> <sighs> okay. Yo, we're at two ninety-five. Holy crap! This is more this is more we... viewers than we've ever had on Twitch. I know two ninety-seven. <laughs> Come on, we need three people. Everybody, everybody. Oh, two ninety-nine. Come on. Oh one my god. One more. Oh my god. One more. Come on! This is Everybody this is this is stay right where you are. This is Zack Schneider's three hundred. <laughs> hey! <laughs> ah, Holy dang it. Shit. we're two ninety one. Okay, let's not acknowledge. Let's it. not acknowledge. Let's go it. back let's to play yeah, yeah, video yeah. game. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, it's like watching paint dry. Give me this one more time. Sorry, Mr. Gary Dev. Though it would seem you you are a military man of considerably distinguished service. Your standing as a landlord is most certainly not what one might call first rate. Oh, shit. Ooh, mm -hmm. spicy. I'm afraid, sir, that it is all too clear to me. Oh, we just hit 301! I saw it. Hey! hey. 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 Oh, all right, that's a, it's official. It's official. Fuck Twitch. <laughs> <laughs> There are two conclusions I have been able to draw by careful observation of your living arrangements. I beg your pardon? There's one thing landlords love. It's when you tell them that they're a shitty landlord. Let me tell you that. <laughs> they just 
Love it. <laughs> the first is that even as we speak, you are concealing the presence of a ferocious beast in your care. Uh, don't talk about the maid like that. <laughs> they don't talk, how dare you talk about my wife? <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, you know what? With Holmes's logic, he, that's probably exactly what he's talking about. <laughs> and the second is that as a result of the beast's violent rampage, you have lost something very dear to you. Yeah. Uh, Mister uh, Narodo, look. The old man's broken out into a cold sweat. Unbelievably. It seems Mr. Shum's conclusions are both spot on. <laughs> uh, how, how could you possibly? How could I possibly know? You mean to inquire? Oh, he just did. Your next line. Is... Yeah. <laughs> the answer couldn't be simpler, sir. For in the dense jungle of logic and reasoning, I am the king of beasts. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and I know only too well that wild beasts are not easily tamed. So, shall we begin? Once again, Herlock Holmes is proud to present his logic and reasoning spectacular. Oh, yeah. shit. Let's go. Again. These are the so game cool. is a foot. These are genuinely awesome, and I'm I'm yeah. glad that they. I mean, this, the the style the stylization of these is tremendous. Yeah, yeah. It certainly shouldn't take a great detective to see <laughs> that a fearsome beast has been on the rampage of late within these four walls. I'm sure it's not that, but the one part the of the two like right things in the middle does kind of look like it's just baked beans. Just chilling in a fucking <laughs> glass container. And England, I don't know. I know y'all use a lot I mean, of they beans. Got, they they beans gotta put something on their, on their toast. toast. Yeah. They, they, just, they do be putting beans on their toast. You though. just keep wet beans just hanging out? Not wet beans. <laughs> They're wet beans. Am I wrong? Uh, yeah, you don't gotta say it like that. <laughs> you don't gotta say it like that. You don't gotta do them dirty like that. You don't gotta do, you don't gotta do the UK dirty like that. <laughs> got to do them with their dirty beans. Listen. That's like dirty beans. Thus we are faced with the question, what form might this beast take? It <laughs> looks away. Ah, for a man with a military breeding, your eyes are uncommonly candid. I, uh... Your furtive glance, Mr. Garadev, leads us directly to the answer. The true nature of the beast that has run rampant here is revealed by that lion statue. Shums, you fucking idiot. <laughs> if, 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 you think he owns a lion, you think the, the presence of a lion food. statue means he owns a lion? <laughs> yep. Yes, though an army man, you appear un you appear unimposing at best. You weak ass bitch. A fact that has fueled your admiration for the mighty lion, the king of beasts. But that is where you're wrong, because I am, in fact, the king of beasts. <laughs> what is this piffle, I ask you? What did you call me? <laughs> in the end, your admiration became so great, in fact, that you had a living, breathing specimen <laughs> shipped from India, which you tried to keep in this very house. <laughs> what? Oh, Yet shit. Was such a wild oh, is it, does he have a yep. mark on the other side of his head? He sure does, Bridge. I just noticed that too. Okay, yeah. good, good, that's, good. That's why yeah. he has never looked at us dead in the face. That's why he has never yeah. turned his head yeah. away. From... Ah, I thought they, I thought they just really wanted to emphasize his moon shape. Yeah, that's good. There's more. Oh, God, There's dude. more than that. Yeah. yeah. From the brief thing we see, from the brief thing, it looks like a red slap. Yeah, like it looks a, like he like, got slapped. Like hand, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Maybe that's why his wife's gone. Yeah, <laughs> Yet living with such a wild beast proved more difficult than you had imagined. <laughs> the chilling traces of a wild rampage are still very much in evidence. Well... Yet as we look around, the beast in question 
fails to present itself. Where could this angry creature have disappeared to? Madam? Me? I pray you do not consider me unchivalrous, but it is plain to me with one glance in your direction. No, he is not going to say what it, I think he's going to say. It is? Your dress pocket gives us oh. a handsome clue as to the beast's current whereabouts. No, I thought he was going to say that there was an entire lion hiding under her skirt. <laughs> You're a lion lycanthrope. <laughs> Oop, that's spicy. From it yeah. is... For protruding from it is a handbill advertising a circus show. A wear lion in London. Yeah. Oh. A sequel that no one wanted. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you sought to dispose of this terrifying lion, Mr. Gary Dirt. At Batty's Circus. Oh man, it should have it, it would have been a cool callback to make it the berry like berries circus. Ah, uh, yeah. It's been around for a very the berry mm -hmm. line goes back a long time, just like the ouchie uh -huh. line. A traveling show currently sojourning in a nearby park. I have observed the tents. You sold the savage lion, sir, to the circus troupe. <laughs> I most certainly did not. I believe I have made my point. The fearsome beast which ran amok in this room was an Indian lion. And a simple visit to the circus now will reveal the lion prancing jubilantly through a ring of fire. Incredible. A rampaging <laughs> Asiatic lion. Incredible. I mean, what other what other option could it be? Uh -huh. Not, not no. at all. No, Mr. Garrider. It is plainly clear that you still have deep feelings for this formidable <laughs> beast. Jesus. Indeed, <laughs> in that blithe. Have to say it like that. Yeah. <laughs> Indeed, in that blithe pose, the distress of this loss has caused you in has. The distress this loss has caused you is veritably tangible. He just turns like, dude, I got slapped. Like, it's not about a lion. What the fuck are you talking ah, about? Ah, yes. <laughs> Clearly, the lion struck you across the face. <laughs> I'm having a marital dispute. God. Your head weighs heavy on your shoulders. The pain you feel being revealed by that supporting arm. Amid fits of tears, you let your beloved beast go. The strain of losing something so dear to you is clearly visible in your visage. Nonsense, man. I, I, I simply... But what we must now ask ourselves is the true cause of this pain. Oh, she's also hiding and we need one only eye. Follow the direct... ah. <laughs> and we need only follow the direction of your gaze to find the answer. Yes, it is this pile of bills that has given rise to the pain you suffer. Every envelope contains another demand for payment. Oh! For cartloads of meat, potatoes, wheat and tea. Indeed, feeding your beloved has had a devastating impact on the financial circumstances of your household. And so you had no choice but to let it go. Yes, well, uh, uh. Now, in a final fit of rage, the ferocious beast carried out one last unimaginable attack. Uh, unimaginable? <laughs> That's right. It set your house ablaze. <laughs> <laughs> the aftermath of which can be clearly seen by observing the carpet over there. A very expensive arsonist. woolen carpet, if I am not mistaken. <laughs> the most dangerous I, kind of lion in our And I know lion. the lion's name. Adam. <laughs> Adam. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Be thankful it did not get into your wardrobe. <laughs> A very expensive woolen carpet, if I am not mistaken. Oh, deary me. <laughs> What could have caused such a destructive outburst? Oh! This time, madam, 
I'm afraid it is you who has inadvertently revealed the truth to me. Your wandering eye has settled upon the answer very neatly indeed. Yes, to explain the dire state of the carpet, we did only look at the Tower of Cakes. <laughs> oh! There is no creature more dangerous on this earth than a beast with an unsatiated appetite. Perfect. <laughs> was it or was it not once said by a certain noble woman, if they have no bread, let them eat cake? Ironically, probably not That's, said. Yeah. <laughs> Most likely just a made up quote to get people angry. Yeah. But I'm you also know surprised what? he said the quote correctly. <laughs> Food is at the heart of all tragedy, in fact. Whatever do you mean? <laughs> Having tired of the taste of cake, the beast began to stalk its next prey. I'm sure I need not spell out the nature of this final act of destruction carried out by the beast. There is only one logical conclusion. Worked into a frenzy by hunger, the lion attacked and ate the carpet. So it saw the cakes and then ate the carpet. Yeah. <laughs> Yomes. My boy, <laughs> my sweet summer child. <laughs> <laughs> the teeth marks in the carpet are a perfect match with those of a lion I once saw in India. What? Are they? <laughs> the carpet not on by the starving lion. Incredible. Thus concludes Herlock Holmes's great deduction of this beastly puzzle. So, <laughs> <laughs> what is the matter with you, Joan? You're pouring scolding hot tea all over me. Oh, I'm sorry, Mr. Gary Deb. I'm afraid I didn't notice. My deductions can be startlingly sharp. It stands to reason that your cup runneth over. I love that phrase so much. Yeah, it's pretty good. Indeed, my revelations can make people spill tears at times, too. <laughs> yeah, I'm about to start crying, Sholmes. And uh -huh. <laughs> oh! Yo, 313 people are watching right Fucking now. Fucking awesome. What's up, everybody? Fucking awesome. Thank you, guys. Thank you guys so much for coming out. Yeah, like, for real. Thank you for hanging yeah, out. Thank you all so uh, very much. This is so much fun. I'm, just, I'm having a blast. Um, Mr. Sholmes, sorry to butt in again, but, <laughs> but. could I make an observation? Why, certainly, Mr. Narahoda. What is it? Again. <laughs> well, your deductions just now. Do you really think a lion could fit inside a room this size? Indeed. It is the only explanation for the facts. The terrifying truth all too often lies beyond the realms of common sense. But wouldn't it be an idea to consider <laughs> what lies inside the realms of... Uh, bleh. But wouldn't it be... But wouldn't it be an idea to consider what lies inside the realms of common sense as well? <laughs> <clears throat> but if an uncaged lion had run amok in this very room... Surely Mr. Garadab and his mate would have been hurt, or worse. Ah, that's where you are stuck. <laughs> I see. An amateur mistake. No doubt the former military man held his own against the beast using that large cannon. Sholmes! <laughs> Sholmes! <laughs> Sholmes! <sighs> oh, incredible. I thought, that, I thought you said they sold the lion to the circus. Yes, with a giant hole in it. <laughs> what? Oh, I'm sorry. Did I leave that part out? <laughs> and what about the food? Meat and potatoes are one thing. But I don't believe I've ever heard of a lion that drinks tea. Ah, well, this is a British lion. <laughs> it acclimated from its Asiatic climbs oh my God. into our British ways quite nicely. <laughs> Ah, my dear Miss Susotto, 
It occurs to me with some regularity. That irrespective of race and breeding, whenever anyone lands on Great Britain, he's about to say Holy it. Wow. Shit. Oh my god! When anyone lands Holy on Great Britain. Oh soil. my god! No fucking he's, way! They are infused with a highly appropriate taste for afternoon. Oh my god! What the fuck? I was just joking, but yeah, uh, wow, incredible. incredible! The minute you step foot into the UK, you must drink tea. Mm. Yep. Uh, people who traveled tea. abroad. Uh, let me know if that's true. I mean, I mean I've, I've traveled to the UK. I don't. I don't, I don't think yeah. I had any tea when I went. To I don't London think I had very weeks. much tea, if any. Wow, <laughs> the self, the self control that you guys exhibited. I don't get me wrong. Incredible. I had plenty of fish and chips. Oh, so many fish and chips. So many. Fish <laughs> I and had chips. plenty of fish and chips. Yeah, fish and chips. A bunch of pints. You know. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Oh, what a glorious notion. <laughs> That's completely ridiculous. Well then, Mr. Narahodo, it's your turn to shine again. I had a feeling <laughs> that was coming. A slight massage. That's all Mr. Sholmes' deductions need. You can do it. Excellent. I've been waiting for my trusty partner in deduction to step forward, Mr. Narahodo. We don't even know whether this is going to help or not with Mr. Mr. Natsume's case. Still, covering the truth is always worthwhile, whatever the motivation. At least, that's what I want to believe. Oh yeah, that's right. Ryunosuke is going through some existential truth crisis. Yeah, yeah. He still doesn't like know all, whether like he wants all, to help this guy or not. Like all Ace Attorney, listen, all Ace Attorney main characters have to go through a, a, a truth Existential yeah, but it's, your, but it's your first game, man. Come on. Wait till later. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Wait, wait till the second or even third, third no, game. No, they're, they're getting it out of the way. They're getting the cliche uh -huh. out of the way so they can start dealing with other stuff. Uh -huh. I mean, he, he at least, it was, it's true. His reason to have an existential crisis at least came early. Yeah. Let us start again from the beginning. A very good place to start. <laughs> so, I was born. Then what happened? <laughs> Of Sherlock Holmes's logic and reasoning spectacular. Have you ever heard of Arthur Conan O'Doyle? <laughs> <laughs> we don't talk about him here. <laughs> don't you mean Arthur Donan Coyle? <laughs> ah, that's good. That's good. That would have been really funny if that was uh, Iris's pen name. Oh, that would have been actually really clever. If that would have been so it. funny. Arthur <laughs> I'm sure that would have been really flirting with getting a, a fucking lawsuit, but that's really funny. <laughs> yeah, I like that a lot. <laughs> hey, cool. I forgot. Corrected. Yeah, I forgot that's what it's called. <laughs> oh. It's literally figure out how wrong this dude is. Mm -hmm. It this, certainly shouldn't take a great detective to see. This is repeat, right? Yeah, pretty much. Okay. So we can we can see through a lot of this. That a fearsome beast has been on the rampage of late within these four walls. Thus we are faced with the question, what form might this beast take? He looks away. Ah, for a man with a military breeding, your eyes are uncommonly candid. Yeah, so he's looking at the wall, mm -hmm. but I don't think he's actually looking at the wall. Your first glance was to get mm -hmm. to say directly to the answer. The true nature of the beast that has run rampant here is revealed by that lion statue. Good. I really didn't see the lion thing coming. <laughs> Ryan. But did, but did you see the Lion you. King? <laughs> oh. oh! Now on Disney Plus. No, but if. This episode's sponsored by Disney. <laughs> I wish. Please? Please, Disney? Give us your money, Disney. Disney, you have a, we'll, you have a we'll do a this. Disney Plus show. Promise. <laughs> No, but if you observe Mr. Garrett Deb's reaction, it rather seems as though some beast did indeed run amok in here in this room. Yes, something with a very fierce nature. Oh my god, I just said the word fierce. <laughs> yes, slay Mr. Narahodo. <laughs> but it couldn't have been a lion transported from India. So, what was it then? We must follow Mr. Garrett Deb's gaze. That will lead us to the true answer. Uh, 
Uh, oh yeah. Oh okay. Oh wait. You remember? Remember this? Wait, can I? Okay, okay. That's how you. You can't. So this is the only angle I have. Mortar shells. I mean. Oh, what's so going on in this shells? picture? Yeah, there we go. That Let's one looks look way more detailed. Yeah, what's going on here? That one looks way more detailed than <gasps> the other one. Oh no, baby! Giant baby. <laughs> that is a big baby. Also, that feels like some ring shit for the face to be crossed off. I don't know. I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> what is this photograph? It appears to be from Mr. Garadev's wedding. He married a baby. No, I was like, I was like, fuck, fuck, fuck. Don't say he married a baby. <laughs> <laughs> wow. People in the people in Great Britain sure do weird things. Huh? <laughs> he, looks he looks very, very happy. He looks yep. very happy, doesn't he? That's your line, sorry. He does, but you can't make out his bride. No, how unfortunate. Something must have struck the glass directly over the woman's face. I wonder what happened. Probably best not to delve too deeply there. Uh, I mean. Okay. So you can pick Garadeb or the bride. Oh, well, then I feel like we have to pick the bride. Uh, sure. Take that! Oh my god. Take that! I forgot about his voice. <laughs> yeah. The true nature of the beast that have run rampant here is revealed by that newly wed bride. Precisely, Mr. Narahodo. I knew that the whole time. No <laughs> other explanation could possibly fit. God damn it. I'm so, I'm so smart. Yes, this framed print picture, this framed print pictures your wife, Mr. Gary Deb. And while we lament the fact that her face is obscure, <laughs> we can still make out her mighty arms. <laughs> <laughs> and note the considerable horsepower they must contain. What? <laughs> He's jacked. Oh, that was that was really funny. You see how he like turned the lights out and Reno's game was like, ah. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Indeed. Surely any woman of such powerful constitution would be honored to be described as a beast. I don't know about that. Yeah, uh, Let me know. This Sherlock Holmes does not fuck. <laughs> Um, honored might be stretching the point. <laughs> Too late. <laughs> <laughs> the fact remains that the beast which so clearly savaged this room was your wife, Mr. Gary Deb. <laughs> That's so good. <laughs> <laughs> the lion roar. Oh, yeah. The chilling traces of a wild rampage are still very much in evidence. Well, yet as we look around, the beast in question fails to present itself. Where could this angry creature have disappeared to? Madam? Me? I pray you do not consider me unshivalrous, but it is plain to me with one glance in your direction. Oh, okay. This is, this is it insane is. dialogue. You sold his wife to the circus. <laughs> That's fucked up, man. <laughs> <laughs> wow, I wouldn't even do that. <laughs> well, eh, maybe on a good day. <laughs> the poor, fragile, defenseless woman is beside herself. Well, I don't know about fragile. Oh, dear. Listen, stop shitting on women right now. I don't really appreciate that. Anyway, Mr. Sholmes is quite right. There's no sign of a Mrs. Garadeb anywhere. But it seems there may be a clue as to her whereabouts. A clue that this maid is trying to hide. I wonder where Mr. Garadeb's wife could be. Uh... Oh, God. <laughs> you can go all the way. Oh, okay, yeah, I mean, he definitely got smacked. 
Oh, yeah, okay, yeah, that's a Dude, big, that's, that's a big, big old, hand. that's a big old slapper, Rooney. That's what it looks like that's the, it. it looks like the gloves that SpongeBob is obsessed with in that one episode or whatever. Oh, yeah, glove world. Yeah, yeah, where they're like really fat hands. I got gloves for my glove action figure. <laughs> Uh, oh, listen, Zach, don't keep scrolling down. No, Come I'm on. just... <laughs> don't, don't be horny. I'm trying to see if there's anything we're, we're missing. Uh-huh, yeah, and you just have we can't... to take the camera angle down low. I'm huh? not... You can't even... I've been doing that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think uh, you just need to look at the eye what the brochure actually is. I can't even angle there, can I? Uh, I can. Okay. Oh? oh. Yeah, oh, oh, okay, I had it. Pocket. Oh. Oh. Pocket. That certainly does appear to be a circus handbill poking out from her pocket. Batty's Circuits, currently performing shows in a park not far from here. You don't think? Surely Mr. Garadan didn't sell his wife to the circus? Oh my god! <laughs> wow. Did we write this game? Yeah, well, is this, this is the Deltarune jokes coming back again I was that, say. that Wes fucking knew. Christ. Mr. Norahodo, how could you even think such a thing? I don't know how fucking England works, Susato. I, I was only joking. Kinda. Listen, and I, I will reiterate, I have played this case. I don't, it was months ago, and I do not remember these jokes. It's probably closer to a year ago, almost. Actually, yeah, it's been a year or more since I last played. Dang. Besides, I would have gone with... Do you think he fed her to his pet lion? Um, so you both insane. That's somehow worse, Susato. <laughs> what the fuck? Uh, she was looking at this stuff. Can we look at that? Wait, the dress pocket gives us some clues as to the... No, that's what her luck is saying. And no. we have to say oh, okay, why that's okay. wrong. Oh, there's even more shit broken over there. Uh... Can you look at the smack on his face? No. Uh, kind of. Huh. Um. <clears throat> this one might be more obvious than you think. The maid herself. I, mean, I was going to say what happened to you. Click on that. Too tightly shut eyes to even avoid the ch uh, to even uh, to avoid even the chance of a giveaway, giveaway glance. Her lips to prevent any secrets from slipping, sl bleh, slipping out. Rounded cheeks to deflect any abuse that might be hurled her way. She's yes. the ultimate life form. This is an unnervingly powerful woman, Miss Susato. <laughs> <laughs> it's your turn of phrase that's unnerving, Mr. Narhado. <laughs> I mean, is, is the... It, no, that doesn't make sense. I was going to say the wife is the maid. But... That doesn't really make sense. Mm. Wait, is that what it does is? It, does it not? Oh, okay. Shit. Oh, we are both the one we click on. Nope. I'm not even sure. <laughs> this is me as Zach. I'm not even sure if I should voice this. <laughs> it's impossible to believe it could be true, yet for some reason the thought came to my mind. This serving maid is, in fact, a mighty goddess of destruction. <laughs> Hell yes. That deduction was wanting in every way. Yes, I was wanting you to hear it. I'm quite proud of it. <laughs> <laughs> I find myself wanting never to have heard it. <laughs> I'm quite pained by it, in fact. That's so good. Oh, That's sorry. Your answer. I'll try again. <laughs> that was, I'm glad we fucked that up that was Yeah, funny. that was really funny Okay. Uh, We've already established who it was that caused all the damage in this room Yes, Scarabdeb's wife It's just a question of finding out where she is now For some reason, I feel as though she's very nearby So what do we click just on? need to find the evidence to prove it I don't think we've found it yet Is there a different picture on the wall that we have to look at, or... Oh, look at her, look at her hand. Ah ha! Oh shit, she, he's the moon and she has the sun uh, ring. Yeah. 
That's good! She's wearing a very large ring. Look! Oh, yes. A sunflower design with some rather nice embellishments. And it's on the ring finger of her left hand. Which means... It's surely a wedding ring. It looks like she's... It looks like it's on there for life, too. I can't imagine it would slide off a finger that size. God damn, Rino's case. Jeez, they're really harping on this. <laughs> That's something to think, Miss... That's something to think, Mr. Norahodo, not to say. Do you know, Mr. Gerardib's wife in the photograph had a ring very much like this one. I wonder why the maid stole it. We should <laughs> tell her. It was a large sunflower design as well. Really? You have a great memory for these things. Hmm. A large sunflower wedding ring. It's quite a coincidence that they have the same ring, isn't it? Yeah, Rianosuke. Okay, so we present that. Take that! Yeah. The wedding ring. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Your wedding ring gives us the handsome clue as to the beast's current... <laughs> as to the beast's current whereabouts. Oh! Indeed it does. That flowery band gleaming on your finger gives it away. Gives you away. God damn, you yeah, are it's... the baby in the photograph. <laughs> For it is identical to the one shown on the hand oh, of Mr. Wow. Garadev's bride in his photographic Notice print. that in the photograph? No, I, 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 I do remember seeing it, but I didn't occur to me that that was a ring. It didn't, it didn't claw, yeah. yeah. In other words, you are no ordinary household maid. No. You are Mr. Garadeb's lucky bride. You are, you, are Mrs. Garadeb herself. Oh my word! <laughs> well, jolly fine detecting, sir. As you, as you rightly surmise, this is the wife, yes, my Joan. Rather let herself go, you might say. Jesus! Valley Corker back in the- oh! Okay, you deserve that one, my guy. Why can uh -huh. you keep getting your crotch boiled, bro? Jesus Christ. <laughs> yes, and I can say with certainty that because of that, it doesn't really work anymore. <laughs> Ouch. It would appear that you don't live in the most comfortable of circumstances. After all, you are a retired army man, yet you are in the business of renting out rooms. I would assume, therefore, you have insufficient means to employ a maid. Would that be correct? It's not right, I tell you. I was second, I was second lieutenant of the third regiment. Man has his pride, you don't you know? By golly, it's a sorry thing when a chap can't even afford to have a single maid in his employ. Yeah, but that's your wife, my guy. Yes, here in London, one is rather judged. A household cannot be considered worthy of society if it employs no staff at all. Though, in my considerate opinion, such concerns about appearances are a folly. You... You mean Mr. Garadeb has his wife work as his maid? Yes, it appears he's into that sort of thing. <laughs> Precisely. <laughs> Am I right, Mr. Garadeb? If we had a whole cafe of people, prote of people dressed <laughs> as maids. This is where this is where it came from. <laughs> My God. When I get back like, home, when I'm I go that home, idea. <laughs> yeah. I'll make millions. <laughs> God damn it. And that's how Rianosuke invented the maid cafe. The maid cafe. <laughs> canon. God damn it. <laughs> now officially in my hype can. <laughs> yep. Only in company, obviously. But listen here. This must remain a secret. Tip top secret. Please. <laughs> God. 
<laughs> the raging wife of Mr. Garaday. God damn it. <laughs> uh, before we continue on to the next one, might I use the little investigator's room? Uh, absolutely. Now, Mr. Garaday. It is plainly clear that you still have deep feelings for this formidable beast. Okay, could you all please stop that? I don't really appreciate <laughs> yeah. it very much. I am right here. <laughs> Literally right in the room. <laughs> you are talking wait until to I'm me? Gone. <laughs> <laughs> Indeed, in that blithe pose, the distress this loss has caused you is veritably tangible. Oh, this one should be easy. Yeah. Your head weighs heavy on your shoulders. The pain you feel yeah. being revealed by that support. Oh, we got slapped. <laughs> yeah, we can quite literally see that. Mr. Shums is quite something. <laughs> He's still calling Mr. Garadev's wife a beast. Admittedly, Mr. Narahodo, you were doing the same thing. Yeah. So... <laughs> yes, as a woman, that feels rather uncomfortable. <laughs> but As a female college student... <laughs> but Mrs. Garadeb is standing beside her husband as we speak. In other words, he hasn't lost his beloved at all, has he? Oh, how true. So perhaps that supporting arm that seems to be propping up his head has some other significance then. According to Mr. Sholmes, Mr. Garadeb's pain is tangible, though. What could that pose of his really signify? I mean, yes. Incredibly easy. Slap cheek. Yeah, yeah. slap cheek. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, Take that! Got him. Fucking. <laughs> Your hey, head. Get that spotlight out of my face. <laughs> Your head weighs heavy on your shoulders. The pain you feel being revealed by that slapped cheek. Damn, you got spit slapped. <laughs> <laughs> and of course, the deliverer of that impressive mark on your cheek that, refused, that refuses to fade is, of course, the Asiatic liar. <laughs> Was you, Madame Joan Garretin. Oh my God. Oh, look at her anime eyes. Chat, <laughs> chat, somebody in the chat's gonna know what I'm talking about. Y have y'all seen the anime eyes that are the Among Us figures meme that's going oh, around? Yeah. Yeah, that is yeah. almost that. To a T, uh, and I am not wrong. <laughs> Anyways. <clears throat> well, yes. She looks proud. Yeah. You have been desperate to hide the slap mark on your cheek, sir. Ah! <laughs> How the blazes? Uh, How did you work that out there? He's really terrifying when he looks you directly. Uh-huh. <laughs> Nothing escapes the notice of one trained in the art of observation, my dear fellow. That's why you haven't looked us directly at or that's why you haven't looked directly at us even once. To keep your other side from view. Well, um. Uh, <clears throat> Now, let us proceed with the next conundrum. Why were you subjected to such, vi to such a violent slap? In other words, we must ask ourselves what caused Madame Garadip to fly into a rage. And we need only follow the direction of your gaze to find the answer. Yes, it is this pile of bills that has given rise to the pain you suffer. Didn't Mr. Sholmes say that the bills were all for lion fodder? Yes, but now that we've established the lion never existed, which can only mean that the thing responsible for gobbling up all that food was Mr. Garadeb's wife. Mr. Narahoto, Jesus. she's a person, not a thing. <laughs> yes, well... Learn some tact, damn! <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> She's also the person who gave her husband a mighty slap round the face. I mean, he kind of... It sounds like he deserved it. One so hard that it left a perfect hand mark, in fact. Ryan, you keep talking like this, you're going to get a slap of your own. Yeah. 
Probably more more like a takedown <laughs> of, a, yeah. of the Susato variety. <laughs> yeah, baby. Yes. Why would a woman want to hit her husband with such force, I wonder? <laughs> I'd love to know the answer to that question. Oh, really? Keep talking and you'll find out. Uh, I am. I mean, if we look at the bills, can we at least see what they're actually for? Yeah. Yeah. Looking at all these bills, it certainly amounts to a great deal of food. Oh, okay. It is a food bill. Meat and potatoes by the cartload, wasn't it? Well, looking at the two of them, you can tell immediately who, who ate the lion's share in this household. Game, stop wow. it. Yeah, that's really... Well, at least we're no longer talking about an actual lion anymore. Oh, shit. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. There's a lipstick stain on the bookmark. Uh-oh. Ah, someone must be reading this book at the moment. Is There's a bookmark here. Look. Is Mr. Garadev that guy from Try Guys? <laughs> Topical uh, joke. Topical reference, baby. <laughs> oh, oh no. What happened to the Try Guys? Uh, we're not going to get into it here. But one, 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 of the of the guys was, one of the Try Guys was caught having an affair. Yes. Yeah, oh, shit. Was yeah. it like a holy, fuck, holy fuck, that body of yours? Holy fuck? <laughs> no, no. I mean, I mean, look, the, the, those jokes have been flying together a lot. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <sighs> I, I I was convinced I wasn't the first person to make that. It, it, yeah. was, it was a bad week for wife guys, yeah. basically. Yeah. Is what the joke has been. Hey, listen, listen, listen. They gotta try everything once, am I right? Shut the fuck up. <laughs> You're also yeah. not the first person to make try guys try adultery joke. Yeah. God damn. There's okay, that one. That's fair. That's fair. Every, every every joke has already been done. Yeah. Listen, Kingdra, Kingdra, listen. The try guys I didn't is know now about it, so I'm guys. making them all now. Yeah. Yeah. <sighs> all right. Let's move on. Ah, someone must be reading this book at the moment. There's a bookmark here. Look. <laughs> Mr. Garadev is clearly an avid reader. Oh, wait a minute. I don't think this is a bookmark. Oh, look, it says... <laughs> Signed, <laughs> <laughs> Oh, no, so it isn't. It's a note written in a woman's hand. Oh, James, I love you. Oh. Yours, Mary. Mr. Garadev. <laughs> And look, next to the signature here. It's a picture of a bikini. <laughs> it's, this was written by bikini. <laughs> lip marks made with lipstick. Oh, what a passionate and romantic gesture. Don't get any ideas, you sisters. What? <laughs> oh dear, I'm sorry. So this bookmark bookmark is actually a love note then. Hmm. Uh, yup. There you uh, go. I'ma say that. Slam. Yeah. You can take that. Mm, to the bank. The deduction bank. <laughs> yes, it is this love note that has given rise to the pain you suffer. Oh James, I love you. Yours, Mary. Passionate indeed. Perhaps the sender of this note, a certain Miss Mary, oh, is the shit. fly in the ointment here? <laughs> the the maid is so pissed. She is pissed. angry. She's so pissed. Oh, that is some angry. Oh, oh, she got him again. Round two. But I don't know the belly woman. You don't know her? That note wasn't written to me. Wait, is his name even James? It was just in the book. I, I don't know how it have, got there. Have they said his first name yet? It was just in there, you say? That's right. That's what I've been trying to do. Oh, wow. <laughs> A likely story. Now, this here Jono thing, I, I explained at the time. I bought the book at that second-hand place. That note must already have been in there. So, the previous owner of the book was using the note as a bookmark, you mean? That's why. That's what I've been saying. Oh, yeah. oh 
likely story. For heaven's sake, woman, look at the name. It's written to change. My name, in case you've forgotten, is John. Ah Thank you. A likely story. <laughs> Are you questioning my name now? <laughs> oh. No. So top tier married couple banter. Yeah. Yeah. And there we have it. <laughs> Arise the suspicions of the female heart, and you unleash a beast with a most ferocious bite. <laughs> now, in a final fit of rage, the ferocious beast carried out one last unimaginable a attack. Uh, unimaginable? She got really mad and she bit seen. the carpet. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's exactly what he's about to yeah. do. The aftermath of which can, be clearly, can clearly be seen by observing the carpet over there. A very expensive woolen carpet, if I'm not mistaken. And I never am. Oh, dearie me. What could have caused such a destructive outburst? Oh. This time, madam, I'm afraid it is you who has inadvertently revealed the truth to me. Your wandering eye has settled upon the answer very neatly indeed. The cakes. Yes, to explain the dire state of the carpet, we need only look at the Tower of Cakes. No, you idiot. It's the wall behind it. Or but, the poster. But surely Mrs. Garadev didn't <laughs> eat the carpet. No, of course not. But there doesn't seem to be any doubt but that the, the state carpet of... was eaten. <laughs> that the state of disarray that this room is in is a result of her wild temper. No, that's true. Man, they're really shitting on Mrs. Garrett. Yeah, they're really like... Jesus. This game is like, fuck Mrs. Garrett. Uh, to be clear, Mr. Garrett also not great making his wife appear as a maid so he can look cool to society, but like... Uh, no. They are, like, they are like, not hashtag all of it is like goals. Very... All of it is like very much like undeserved ribbing that they're uh -huh. giving her. Uh -huh. Yes, oh, for much. sure. For sure. So this is the last part of Mr. Schoen's deduction that we need to fix. We need only to follow Mrs. Garadev's gaze, and that will tell us the real answer. All right. Let's see what we can see. Yes. I mean, uh... it seems kind of obvious. There is. Wait. Also, what is this down here? If it will let me look at it, it will not. Okay. In. But it does let you look at the poster. No. Cat poster. The Cat carpet. Posted. We look at the carpet. The carpet here has been ripped to shreds. Yes, and according to Mr. Jones's deduction, the tears match those made by an. Indian lion's teeth exactly. Oh, look here. What is it? If you look closely at the edge, you can see scorch marks. Oh, it must have been a fire-breathing Indian lion. <laughs> oh, yes. Oh, yes. So you can. In that case, perhaps the carpet wasn't eaten in the normal sense at all. No shit, Susato. Let's so technically, Herlock is right. Let's rethink this with that in mind. All right, so and there's a candlestick there. Uh, yeah, I think it was burned. Yeah, so here's the missing candlestick. Uh, let me just look at it, see and... if it has to update the thing. Uh -huh. This looks like a very old candlestick, doesn't it? The base looks too small. Surely it's very unstable. It looks to me like even the slightest knock would make it topple over. Oh dear. That would be dangerous. London, how many times are you going to burn? <laughs> Zach, loves, Zach loves this joke. I do. Uh. <laughs> Wait, take a closer look at this. There's one candle missing. Yes, I didn't notice that before. Why is that, I wonder? Why is there one candle of three missing from its holder? 
Well, just 11 shy of 13. I love that both Soapy and Beck were instantly like, God damn it, Zach. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <Take that. laughs> He's not. I'm not. Yes, to explain the dire state of the carpet, we need only look at the candlestick. Most illuminating, my dear fellow. And of course, the only possible way out of this logical labyrinth. Yes, the remnants of the ferocious attack in which the carpet was devoured are clearly visible. Indeed they are. The scorch marks at the edge clearly give away the truth. They clearly give the truth away. Uh, scorch marks? It would appear that this room was the scene of a little marital altercation. Mr. Uh, Mrs. Garadeb's mighty arm muscles <laughs> left an impression not only on her husband's face. But on the entire room. The force of her strike caused a candle to fall from the holder. And in seconds, the carpet was alight, and the whole corner of the room was in flames. Yes, I... Uh, for the most ferocious beast in this world is neither a violet lion, nor a vengeful woman, but fire. I think you wanted that to sound cooler than it really did. Yeah. And in this room, that ferocious beast bared its claws and ran amok. Eloquently put, my dear fellow. So you see, there is but one conclusion here. Yeah. Af After, After the sparks, sparks of, of marital, marital discord, discord flew, flew, this room, this room was, was the, the scene, scene of, of a fire. fire.